Welcome to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission's remedial training for wildlife service agents. This video will show you how to sell licenses to multiple customers during one transaction. There will be times when you will want to perform a single transaction for multiple customers. This is most especially true when you will be selling licenses to members of the same family or a particular hunting or fishing party. It prevents them from having to pay the license processing fee multiple times. During the video, I will sell one license to four different customers, but I will perform only one actual Alvin transaction. As I walk through the process with each license, I will explain, explain the various screens and pop-ups you will encounter. At the end of the video, I will show you some examples of the receipt with each customer listed within the transaction. From the Alvin homepage, select License, enter the customer's last name and date of birth, and perform the search, which you should do with all customers. We received a name in return in the search, but this is not a name I want to use since this is for test purposes. If, however, you're actually selling a license to a real customer and that customer's name pops up, verify that that's the individual standing in front of you and then use that name. Otherwise, add a customer. Type in the customer's name. Last name will already be populated from the search. Select the gender. Type in the address. City. State is already populated. County. Let me back up. State is already populated if you're dealing with a North Carolina resident. If this is an out-of-state resident, you will have needed to have selected out-of-state resident, non-resident, and there wouldn't be a county option. But in this case, we're working with Raleigh, North Carolina, so there is a county. Continue. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use an inland fishing, annual, comprehensive inland fish, add it to the cart, check out. Now you'll notice from this screen we've got one customer so far, one inland fishing license, and one license processing fee. If you get in a hurry and you hit continue and then realize you have a second customer you want to include, simply select back and then select add another customer. Takes you back to the Alvin homepage. You select license. Again, you'll perform a search just as you would with any customer that you're working with. Again, enter the birth date. Perform the search. We don't get a customer to come back, so we're going to go straight to add a customer. Again, typing in the first name, selecting the gender, typing in the address, the city. Again, states populated, the zip, and the county. Again, these items are not required, so we don't enter them in for the purpose of this test. In real life situations, please try to get as much of this information as possible. Continue. Again, inland fishing, annual, comprehensive inland fish, add it to the cart, check out. And now you'll see we have two customers, but only one license processing fee still. Select add another customer so we can add our third customer. Select license. Again, we search. Enter the birth date of the customer. Search. No customer came back, so we'll add a customer. First name. Gender. Address. City, zip code, and county. Continue. Again, inland fishing, annual, comprehensive inland fish, add it to the cart, and check out. 
Now we have three customers. Now let's add our final customer. Select license. Perform the search. Search. We get no customer back. Even if we had, we'd be adding a customer because of the test purposes. Add customer. Again, the name. First name. Gender. Address. City. States populated. Zip code. And county. And again, we're selecting inland fish, annual, comprehensive inland fish, adding it to the cart, and checking out. Now, if you'll notice for this demonstration, obviously I was demonstrating a family. All of the Baileys have now got a license. Each of the licenses were comprehensive inland fish. This will frequently be the case when you have people that are hunting or fishing together. They'll be buying similar license types. However, this may not always be the case, so always ask what license they're interested in and if there are any privileges that go with the license that they will need. Once you've got all the customers added, you click Continue. Choose who will be paying for it. In this case, we're going to let Dad pay for everything. Submit. We'll do immediate submit um, immediate fulfillment. Submit the order. And when you get ready to print the license, make sure you have the license stock in your printer. Select print license or permit. A window will pop up that looks very similar to this. And if you'll notice, it shows that there's one through four pages. That's because we're going to print off four licenses, one for each customer. So be sure you have enough license stock in your printer to cover the number of licenses you've sold in this transaction. And then you would simply select print, and the four licenses would print for each of the four customers. Once you've printed the licenses, you print receipt on receipt paper. And I have done the license earlier so I could demonstrate to you what the receipt will look like. It looks like any other receipt except in this case you have the first, second, third, and fourth customers each purchased a comprehensive inland fishing license which is listed but again note there is only one license processing fee. So for this family of four, we have saved them $6 by not charging them $2 for each transaction. This will go a long way in satisfying a customer knowing they didn't pay $6 they didn't have to. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have additional questions, please contact the Agent Support Helpline at 800-662. 7350. Thank you.